Hey, Moondog here. Now the device I'm holding here is not a vape pen. I don't vape, but there is some sort of connection because this measures how much hot air you're blowing or potentially um, blowing into it. This is a tiny little digital tire gauge. Um, I bought it on Amazon and I'm gonna test it out and see how well it works, how accurate it is and how easy it is to use. This is made by Norshire, a brand I've never heard of, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work or it's not good. It just it means that it is uh, not a very well-known brand as far as uh, automotive uh, gadgets. So um, let's test it out. Let's take a closer look, see what you get in the package, and take it out to um, my car and see how accurate this reads the tire pressure. So this is the Northshire tire pressure gauge. The packaging is, well, the unit itself is very small. It is a little over half an inch square by um, a little less than five inches long. And um, packaging kind of reminds me of uh, prescription um, itch ointment packaging, but whatever. There's a little illustration of, uh, I guess, the unit itself, a little red side and a non-red side. And let's see what you get inside here. Oh, let's see, instruction manual. No, um, where are the instructions? Well, I'll figure this out. Oh, here we go. There are instructions printed here, but unfortunately this inventory label that they've put on here covers up the instructions. So that's not very helpful. Let's see if we can take this off very careful you can take off the label and actually read the instructions on how to use that that is a big oversight on uh, whoever is importing these anyway at least I can read most of the instructions at this point all right so let's take a closer look at the unit itself it actually looks quite nice and like I said it looks like a pin um, this side looks like it has a rubber seal and yeah so this is where you'd put it into um, the uh, nipple on uh, your inner tube or your tire. The other side does not feel like it has a nipple. So I'm guessing this is for um, for uh, releasing the valve to uh, take out any excess air. And this one is to measure, uh, to get a tight seal on the valve to measure uh, your pressure. And it is rechargeable via USB-C. There's the port there. And it is a... Not too heavy, um, plastic, polymer, body, and uh, let's see, press this to turn it on, and oh, it's fully charged, and it measures, the, it calibrates for the air, the ambient air pressure, that's that's cool. So let me just, said to press it for three seconds to calibrate it. Okay, there we go. And you can see that uh, it also measures the temperature as well as uh, the pressure there in uh, Celsius or metric, Celsius and bar, which is a, an English pressure measurement, and uh, that is in kilograms, PSI for us Americans in Fahrenheit, and back again. So you can cycle through all of those different pressure metrics. All right, so it looks like it's fully charged. We'll bring it outside and test it out and see and compare it against uh, some analog pressure gauges and see how accurate this is. All right, so I drove the car around the block so I could get a reading off of my gauges here, the built-in tire pressure sensors. Now these are reading off of Bluetooth tire sensors in each of the uh, wheel hubs on this car. And we're gonna compare those numbers, uh, 37 PSI, to an analog tire gauge on my inflator and compare it to the Northshire here and see how close the numbers on the Northshire are to those numbers. All right, so let's check out the pressure on this tire. Start with the analog here. And I'm seeing right about 35 PSI. So let's test it against the Northshire here and okay uh, you know it's a little glitchy looking on this 
uh, camera here, but it looks fine on the screen. Uh, that's some sort of artifact with the scanning rate on the camera versus the scanning or the display rate, the refresh rate on uh, this LCD screen, so, or LED screen. So, uh, sort of just bear with that. Let's check this out. 37 PSI. So, um, hope you can read that, but it does say 37 PSI. So that's right accurate to the dash display and pretty close to this tire gauge, to the analog tire gauge. So let's just compare it to uh, the rear tire just to make sure that that is accurate because I could have just gotten lucky there. So if this one matches up as well, it's, it's more than likely that the uh, digital gauge is correct. This one also is 35 PSI on the analog gauge. And let's uh, compare that to the Northshire. And the Northshire, oh, it turned off. Hold on, let's try that again. And the Northshire is saying 37 PSI as well. So again, this matches up to uh, the dashboard gauge. Well, you know what? Let's just make sure, because those numbers were exactly the same, so let's try one of the other tires, just to make sure that we are getting an accurate reading. Okay, third time's a charm. And, well, the, all of them did say 37 on the dashboard, but let's just confirm that. All right. And this one's actually coming in just a shy under 35 PSI as far as this analog gauge. So let's see what the Northshire, and, and just make sure that is on, says. And this one it says 36. So this also lines up with the slightly lower numbers we're getting on the analog gauge. So there you go. I think I feel fairly confident that uh, the Northshire is giving us some accurate numbers. And I feel confident uh, using this gauge as to its accuracy. So there you go, the Northshire Digital Tire Gauge. It seems to work surprisingly well, and it is actually a pretty cool little device. I'm, I'm certainly gonna be keeping it in my car, and if you're interested in picking one up uh, for yourself or as a gift, because um, honestly, if I got one of these, I would think, well, well, this is a pretty cool gadget to get as a gift. So, hey, there you go. Uh, I'll include product links as well as more information on my blog article at moondogindustries.com and you can find a link to that article as well as a link to this product in my video description. If you're interested in picking one up, please use that link. It doesn't cost anything more than if you were to go to Amazon and search for this yourself, but when you use that link, you help support this channel and my efforts in creating these review videos. And if you've enjoyed these review videos, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell because then you'll be notified when I post my next product review that you might enjoy. Uh, also, if you have any questions or any thoughts about this product, please leave me a comment that really helps the algorithm out, and or just say hi. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hit that like button, leave a comment. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to moondogindustries.com.